There are three types of people that really write about information security. There are your journalists, uh, there are your vendors, and then there are the unsung heroes of security. They are the bloggers. That's right, so around the world you have got hundreds of thousands, well, okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but you've got a fair few bloggers who get online and they write away their, their views. Uh, they're normally pretty good. Okay, some of them aren't too good, but a lot of them are very good. Maybe they can't spell as well as a journalist, and they don't have the marketing machine uh, behind them like vendors do, but generally the content is very good, and you get a whole mixture of opinions. The site that I go to all the time, the blogger's website, is Infosec Island. It's a great place. I mean, it's a place which aggregates a number of, you know, lots of different bloggers and you get a really good spread of, you know, analytical bloggers and opinion-based bloggers and ranty bloggers and scientific bloggers and big bloggers, small bloggers, brown bloggers, white bloggers, yellow bloggers, smelly bloggers, hairy bloggers, shaved bloggers, you name it. It's really interesting. I mean, I, I was looking at the island and the last post of Last year, so the very last post, 31st December 2010, uh, is posted by Robert Siliano. Siliano? Robert Siliano. Sounds American-Italian. Italian-American. Do you think he talks like this? He, eh, come over here. I just should not do accents at all. Somebody just slap me the next time I try and do an accent. So it was a really interesting post, and the very one of the very last paragraphs on it says and don't be a fool scammers consider you the target simple-minded they use 1001 different techniques to trick you into divulging your data they attempt to gain your trust by lying sending misleading emails or planting pop-up ads that try to convince you to download the software for your own protection just hit delete Kabish. Wise words, which I'm sure echoed around the security world, especially all the employees working at RSA. But imagine that, this was a, a topic raised a whole year ago, has much changed throughout the year. Then we kicked off the new year with a post by the likes of what was this, uh, Rahul Neil Money, urging CIOs to stop talking jargon and start talking solutions. want to try to get them all out for a job, mate. Uh, Anthony M. Freed declared that anonymous movement is fueled by cowardice. That's right, cowardice! And the rest of the year is a blitz of a variety of blog posts, so let, let, let's have a look through some of these posts that went through. Um, Gurudat Shenoy posted an article on passwordless authentication. And no surprise there, it's got about 10 comments on it already. Uh, what is it with password-related blogs? The passwords are just like, oh. Anytime there's a blog on passwords, there's like a gazillion comments that are posted immediately. Um, Rod McPherson talks about using India to monitor and kill rogue privilege escalation. You try to escalate your privilege wrongly? My ninja will decapitate you. Brad Burness wants to change infosec perceptions by being nice. Good luck with that one. Tax related identity scams up 300%. Rafael Loss uh, says software security. Just what is the meaning of mature? Raphael, I'm glad you posted it on the island, because if you had Googled it, even with Safe Search on, the results are not pretty. Alan Pratt, what's he saying? 10 password tips that never go out of style. Well, look at his profile picture. You can tell he's a man who knows a lot about style. It's almost like he's perfected that blue steel look. <laughs> Emmett Jurgensen gives us 11 reasons to ask when buying a secure flash drive. I don't even ask 10, 11 questions when I'm buying a car. 
I mean, when we chose a babysitter for our kids, I only asked one question. <laughs> one of my favourite guys, Scott Turbin, he's, he's written loads of posts throughout the, the, the year, and it, it's very good if, if you haven't ever seen any of his posts. But he's got this profile picture of like this Viking helmet or Spartan or something, and every time I read one of his posts, I can't help reading it, but in a, in a Spartan voice from the 300. So, you know, he, and, and it just completely throws me every time I read his post. So I read his post and it's like, China wires from hacking to digital espionage. The nature of InfoSec, a zero sum game. You're romancing the cyber wars. I mean, I can just imagine, I mean, he's probably sitting there writing a blog at one point, and someone says, hey, are you writing a report? I am blogging! Danny Lieberman writes about, what's he saying here? Application software in the cloud. Power to the people. That's right. I'm going to call him Danny X from now on. Ben Roth wrote an article on lessons learned from Legat, everyone's favorite security expert celebrity. Boris Verdick posted not one, not two, but a trilogy of articles saying what the CISP won't teach you. Pistols at dawn, my friend. Pistols at dawn. There are lots more, but I strongly encourage you go to the island, uh, read some of the posts, and even more importantly, contribute some of your own ideas. You can only enrich the pot, and if it's not very good, then we'll just get attrition to beat you up. As the year draws to the end, I suppose, from me to all the great security bloggers, the people who run conferences and do so much for our great industry, have a really happy new year and stay secure, my friends. 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 Stay secure, my friend. Stay secure, my friend.